question here. And I'm just <clears throat> diving more into the F5 uh, big IP next and the central manager. And what I really wanted to kind of show is I really like how central manager has kind of simplified this um, VIP or app deployment uh, and management. For example, if we take a look at my environment here, I have two sets of F5s. Uh, I have an HA pair on the right hand side <clears throat> that's hosting this web application and my VIP is sitting on port 200. And then I've added a secondary site, maybe a DR site, a UAT site, a test site, whatever <clears throat> it is. And in here we have our VIP that is going to that HA site and it's just hosting a simple web app. And inside of our infrastructure, we have those two sets of F5s. We have the next, which is an HJ pair. Then we just have a standalone device in my right environment here. <clears throat> and what's neat, or what I really enjoy, or I like, is that we can build these apps and apply them to different instances and location. For example, if we take a look at this app, we see that it's connecting to our big IP next instance. What we can do is we can edit this. <clears throat> we have the same parameters already set and configurations that the name of the VIP and the name of the pool, all that's always the same. <clears throat> and all we have to do is when we're deploying it, we are gonna add a new instance. So we're gonna add the big IP next 02. And because it's a different data center, it's gonna have its own VIP. And because the pool members are different in this data center, we're gonna have their own pools. So DR app one. App two. And let's go app three. So save. <clears throat> And now we're taking that app and we're gonna deploy it in the secondary data center. The same configs, all we're doing is changing the object parameters for that data center. So we'll click on deploy. <clears throat> and as this starts deploying it, we have our, our web app that has been deployed here the same config um, and we're just literally pushing from central manager the configurations to this F5. So they mimic the same configurations on this F5 because a lot of times when I'm doing any assessments or validating F5 configurations, <clears throat> I notice that most cases the UAT environment or the um, production or DR or SIT environment, whatever you come on it to be, or a different region, different data centers, sometimes have slight different settings, maybe a different TCP profile, and HTTP profile um, <clears throat> configured. So this really allows us to simplify that deployment. And then we can then take a look at where this instance it's running as this is now being deployed uh, on those devices itself. So this takes a couple seconds <clears throat> to make sure that those are deployed. Um, we've provided the health monitor. So we see now, now we have this pool. Uh, we have all the information about this. Uh, we have the, the pool and the members. So these are still being enabled and validated. Let me stop our web app working. <clears throat> <clears throat> 